Hey, what is up, guys? Joseph here. And Noah again. And we're here for our review for Marvel's Avengers. Mm hmm. So, Marvel's Avengers comes out in 2012. It's the sixth movie in the MCU. Um, I remember uh, eighth grade, I was on the last day of school, and my uh, uncle took me to see this movie. I don't think I saw it in the theaters. Really? Yeah. I mean, I think I saw it for the first time <clears throat> in, on TV somewhere. Um, but. Yeah, um, 92 on Rotten Tomatoes, 8.1 on IMDb, um, but... It's pretty high, it's, highly, ra it's, highly rated. It's most commonly referred to as one of the greatest superhero movies of all time. Of all time, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's a um, pretty big claim. Uh, I have to disagree on that statement. What? That is one of the greatest. Is it the greatest or one of the greatest? No, one of. Okay. Do they always they always say Dark Knight's number one? Eh, uh, me personally, I don't see that as a superhero movie. It didn't seem like a superhero movie. Like it feels like a crime. crime yeah, I mean it was still a great movie, movie, but yeah. Okay, no okay. okay. this going to be trailing off. Um, <laughs> we'll do the Dark Knight later. Yeah, real quick. Take the Joker out of there, it's a completely different movie. Joker is what makes that movie. Yeah. Um, but anyways, the Avengers. Sorry, trailing off. We went from Marvel to DC. We're about to do a Batman um, review on a Marvel. But anyway, okay, uh, go back go back to the Avengers. Go back to the Avengers. Alright. Okay. Um Avengers. So I remember it. Okay, um, Starts off on uh, spoilers before we get into it. Um, starts off with Loki coming in, destroying everybody, getting the Tesseract, which is a power cube, and Nick Fury, played by Sam Jackson, um, gets together a group of heroes who consist of Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Hawkeye, Hulk. Black Widow. They team up, go against Loki to take down take down Loki. And his army. His of, army. Yeah. Oh, I can't remember what I can't remember the name. The Chitauri. And that's basically the plot of the movie. Yeah, that's like the main summary. But <clears throat> basically it mashed up the Iron Man series. The Incredible Hulk series, which Edward Norton didn't come back to play, so it kind of didn't really feel like it was uh, Thor and um, Captain America. Captain America, and that's it. Those are like the main movies. But basically, that's pretty great because on their own, those are good movies, and it's mashed up into one movie. Uh, basically, how I saw it, so I thought it was uh, really good. It's the one movie that really influenced the creating the combined universes, like DC's doing now, like Star Wars is going to do, like all these other movie franchises that are doing it now. Marvel started with the MCU coming together in the Avengers. Great special effects. The only bad thing about uh, special effects. The only bad thing about the design, and I know I'm not a minority here, Captain America's costume. It's terrible. Um, I don't really like Captain America. <laughs> hey, the second one's pretty good. Um, Which I can't judge because I haven't seen the movies yet. So. You haven't seen the second one? I haven't seen any of them. Don't don't bother watching the first one. Just watch okay. the first one. <laughs> Winter Soldier um, is that cool? Yeah, okay. that was pretty good. Um, right. But yeah, Avengers, great. I really don't know what else to say. <laughs> we basically um, broke it down pretty well. I think uh, it was a good blockbuster. That, so. The shot that um <clears throat> that pans around the entire team. Yeah, that was a good shot. Money shot. Yeah. Rather. It had a good mix of uh, comedy and action. Great and, comedy. Uh, this really blended well together. There wasn't really any... Uh, 
There were a little bit of boring parts, but it, all along it, it kept a good what? consistency. Like when they were on the ship, it was kind of boring. Uh, I guess I'm just what like ship? action crazy. You know, the, uh, I don't know what it's called. Remember they're on the ship and then they like... Uh, the hell here? Yeah, and they blew up the engine and they had Iron Man had to fix it with Captain America and stuff. Uh, <laughs> anyway, there, it it gen- generally kept a uh, good consistency of everything, so I think it did it good in that regard. So I think we should uh, leave off with our review, personal review. So I'll go first. Out of the ten score rating, I'll give it a solid eight. And I wouldn't say it's one of the greatest superhero movies of all time, but it certainly was a great movie, and not just a great movie, but a great superhero movie, too. But uh, Solid 8, I think, was good enough. Like mostly every movie, it has its flaws. So, I'll go 8.5. Out of ten, still great movie, still entertaining, still one of my favorite movies of all time. But as much as I love it, I can't give it a ten star. Like when it first came out, I did love it way more because it was brand new. But as times go by, some movies just. The Don't one thing, the one thing I will yes. say is, uh, but it still holds up, right? yeah, it still holds up definitely. It's not that old of a film, but it's not really re- rewatchable to me. Like it's a, more of a first time, like a I don't know, first go round of it, because like there's nothing really mind boggling. You pretty much get the whole gist of the story in one go, so it's not really much for rewatchability unless you really love it. Which I didn't love it. It was a good movie. I liked it. So that's just my personal opinion on it. Uh, yeah, that's that's it for this review, you. I guess. Um, if you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And our social media, mine and his, will be in the description below. And we'll see y'all in the next classic review. Mash out.